What is up guys, I'm Kyle at Fortune. Today we're reassembling the rear axle of the Samurai. In our last video, we put the rear axle housing back in the Samurai. We had some new suspension, we changed it up too. In this video, we're gonna be reassembling all the parts that go into that axle. Removing the axle shafts isn't that big of a deal, but one thing that can be a pain in the butt is the axle bearings that ride on the shaft and are retained by a little retainer. Kind of hard to get off. If you have a press, it's really not that bad. I don't have a press, however, so how I did it was the old school way where you use an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel, but you have to be very careful to cut only the retainer and not hit the shaft. These are the stock Samurai axle shafts that I'm getting these off of, so it's not a huge deal if I do, but still, I don't want to mess them up because somebody else could use those shafts or maybe even I will use them someday for something. To get the bearing off, I had to cut that off too because it was stuck on there pretty good, but once you get both of those off, it's smooth sailing until you got to put them back on. During the process of getting the rear wheel bearing off of the axle shaft, I ended up shearing both the pins that hold these shoes on right here. So for that reason, I decided to just get a whole new brake hardware kit. You can see I also drilled out the center part to three inches. So now we can disassemble the rear axle and take that rear axle shafts off without disassembling any of the rear brake components. So that's a pretty big deal. I couldn't fit this in the press, so I did this by hand. I think it was a pretty good cut for doing it with the drill. It came out pretty good, and I just need to smooth these out, and I'll throw a tiny bit of paint on there after I clean these up and get my new brake parts on here. The new rear bearing kit comes with a seal, the bearing and the bearing retainer. For me, I like to put some grease on the axle shaft itself. Seems kind of silly, but it actually did help the bearing go on much smoother. This is something you don't want to just pound on there because if you start to bend it and mess it up, it's not going to do its job and spin freely. I use some pipe that fit around the axle shaft, but was small enough to contact the main part of the bearing that's metal that's going down the axle shaft. Gave it a couple of good whacks and it went all the way down to the bottom. Once again, I put a little bit more of that axle grease on the axle shaft and then slid the retainer on. These are super tight. It's a much closer tolerance. And here's the reason why you want to do the three inch cutout. You can see the brake assembly goes right over the rear bearing. It makes it a lot easier to get this out if you ever break a shaft or something. Putting the rear axle shafts back in the housing is actually pretty easy. This is a video of me doing the long side of the tube, which is a little bit harder to do, but once you rock it back and forth, you'll eventually feel it seat into that differential, which for me is a spool in the middle. Just rocked it back and forth. Once it got in there, I just put a little bit of pressure on it and turned it each way to make sure that it was engaging and that it was in the right spot so I could use my brass hammer and kind of just tap it into place the rest of the way. That's about it for this video, guys. Happy with how the Samurai looks. Can't wait to see how some 31s or possibly bigger are gonna look under it. If you're curious about any of the parts or tools I use, look in the description below. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. If you wanna know when my videos come out, just hit that bell notification. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.